guys, um, we are here live at the ZSK House Show here in Germany. It's the first day, the first official day of the show, and uh, you can see the campus here. This is the third building that we're at, but there's uh, main offices from the first building. I'm not sure if you can see that far. Uh, then we've got the second building, which is part of their, I believe, part of their, uh, some of their production. Um, we've got behind the uh, the camera, I think there's some, some also some other production. Um, you can see it's quite a facility. Um, this is just one of the campuses. This is just one of the campuses, too. So, we're going to walk in, and we've already, we got a sneak peek yesterday, so it is awesome. Uh, let's go and see. Alright, so here we're walking in. First thing that we see are the technical machines. Um, this is something really unique that you don't see in uh, any other uh, manufacturer. But uh, over to my right, you can see here. This is uh, the um, here they're doing green carbon fiber. Uh, this is an eight foot machine. showing how one of the applications. So this will be, um, I believe this project uh, helped with um, with automotive wheels. And uh, there's a, oh, this is, um, what you see here? This is a, um, right, a car hood, and this goes under the hood. So it helps with the structural integrity um, of, of the millimeters. Only two millimeters thick, as strong as all can be. So it's really quite interesting. Mm -hmm. um, so let's go underneath and see. Um, we've got an automatic bobbin changer here. Um, and actually, uh, Dick, who is recording us, is listening to some of these features. Yeah, this is a really, really unique uh, system because it also allows you to program each bobbin to match an upper thread. So in an event where we had a or a, uh, any type of a flat machine that had multiple colors uh, or multiple thread thicknesses, we can also assign a specific bobbin to each one of those needles. Very, very unique. No one else has this. Yeah, and that's actually really cool in other applications such as matching thread colors just for typical embroidery. Um, over here we have more technical equipment for TFP, e-textile, smart textile, uh, wire laying. See here is a uh, wire laying. Uh, this is actually can feed two different wires. This is two, two wires together. Um, this you see a lot in uh, heating uh, elements for the automotive industry, uh, like your heated seats. You know, if you ever wondered how that was made, uh, this is one of the technologies that's used. Um, well, what else is, now this is really, this is conductive This is our CSK. Our good friend, Melanie. <laughs> she is, yeah, at work, she's using the conductive yarn, and uh, she is one of the pioneers um, in in this uh, teaching everybody how to utilize this uh, very very special technique. years and years in uh, doing textile research for, uh, for technical embroidery applications of all times at the University of Aachen very very talented and and has been responsible for moving our industry forward tremendously in the Absolutely. last couple of years. And this is her baby. Nobody can touch this machine. <laughs> She's working the best for me. Yes. Uh, this one over here, this is a new combination machine. And A, a 
ZSK uh, circuit board that's programmable, designed for embroidery. So if you look, all the connections are embroidered, designed for that. And when we're all done looking at this, we'll um, turn around and have Topher show us the little um, game that is played. This is actually an embroidered game, just for fun. We uh, got in the light barrier, so we'll hit the start button again. <laughs> We have uh, over here. You could. It's the, the chip is programmable. Uh, so by you can see uh, the attendees playing. So this conductive thread is capacitive, meaning that we can actually do some. You, we can do some unique uh, things with, you know, touch. You can see all the LEDs turn on, and this is kind of a game of memory. So basically, once we get started, you have to see where the LEDs light up, and then you have to choose the shape that most recently was lit. And then you have to go as long as you can as it continues to go through a sequence of light up uh, LEDs, and yeah. It's just for fun, it's really cool though. And then over here we have an Arduino board that was programmed as a, as a piano. Here it is on the pillow. Course, right? Uh, this is one of the coolest things I've seen. Uh, it's the it's a very uh, typical embroidery. Uh, you can see it with just regular embroidery stitches, but the eyes light up. This is done with LED sequence uh, with conductive yarn. You can see the uh, the connectors here to connect to a uh, battery source. And then you know muscle stimulation can be done through. This is uh, done with our K-head machine. It's uh, basically moss stitch, or what a lot of people refer to as chenille embroidery. But using a conductive thread, um, you know, we can hook this up to a device so that we can do muscle stimulation. Very, very interesting applications. Here's a fun very application. Uh, this can be used for safety, um, like in any sort of or, you know, people who are traveling at night, uh, walking your dog at night, you know, uh, riding a bicycle, that you can incorporate this into your clothing, uh, and you can actually program it to flash, you can program it to stay on. Um, there's some really cool things that you could do with it, and it's really exciting, and I'm probably not doing it the justice uh, that, that CSK can. And uh, what we'll do is we'll actually, we'll, let's see if we can get Topher to, to say some things. Well, as soon as, uh, yeah, and we could go over and look at the shape um, applications of the carbon fiber, which is super cool. Oh, yeah, this is very neat. This is, uh, you can see it's doing a bicycle seat on carbon fiber. So we can pull like a 60k roving, um, really amazing stuff, um, making an embroidered preform, basically zero waste or next to zero waste, and um, using now like a co-mingled thermoplastic um, fiber, you, you can do a heat set for the preform, which, you know, it gets rid of the sort of uh, wetting up process and um, becoming more and more popular and more prevalent and works great with TFP technology. You can see here some tubing and wire that's being laid down um, with the feed system. You can see that this is completely in a circle. Uh, it, it's not twisted and that is a very special thing that ZSK can accomplish with their patented Automatic unravel, uh, if, you know, you get to a point of, of what looks the degree that, um, sorry guys. <laughs> so it's getting a little bit, it's getting a little bit crowded back here too, so let's walk out of here just for a second. Um, but yeah, if you guys can believe it, this is all embroidery technology. Yeah, so we normally think of it as just, you know, your normal kind of logo. Left chest logo, hat, you know. But this is really um, just forward enough that I don't have to worry about resistance issues. Now, another thing is that we're just the beginning of this show. You know, this is just 
the first uh, as we walk in. So actually, we walked in the back way, so uh, even the customers don't see this first. Uh, now we'll kind of enter into the embroidery side. And We're going to see several different. There's a lot of different sections, so we're going to log off for just a second, and then we're going to open back up with another live stream um, once we get to the next section to go over some of the different highlights for that. But no. Oh. It's very light. This is with the other two. Another order preform. This is uh, the glass fiber, as well as the carbon fiber. Very cool. This is with. So we'll be back in just a few minutes, but we're going to go from section to section and kind of cover all the highlights, just so everybody can see. It's an amazing uh, experience to see be here at the ZSK Open House. All right, we will be back.